Are you unsure if a guy likes you or not? Here are three signs that often mean a Christian guy likes you, but he's trying to hide his feelings for you. Number one, if you and a Christian guy are good friends, he probably likes you and he's just trying to hide it. Is it possible that a Christian single guy just really enjoys the company of a Christian single girl and has zero romantic interest in her? Is it possible he calls her and texts her just because they have a great friendship and he never wants to be anything else with her? Yes, this is possible. It's also possible that you get hit by lightning, win the lottery, and that Bigfoot really does exist. All joking aside, from my experience, women are more likely to enjoy a guy as a friend and truly just want to be friends. However, most men will only be close friends with a woman if they also secretly hope to date her one day. Why is that? Because a friendship with a man satisfies some desires in a woman like emotionally connecting and having a male to communicate with. These desires are not as strong in a man. He typically is more focused on things and activities, while a woman is more often focused on people and verbally connecting. In other words, he doesn't have a strong desire to connect with a woman emotionally or verbally unless he has romantic interest in her. I'm not saying he's faking it with this woman. I'm just saying he won't be motivated to invest in her in this way if he doesn't have a hope to be something more with her one day too. A man can certainly have genuine friendships with a woman that he doesn't like romantically. But when the man has a closer friendship with one woman that exceeds his other friendships with women, usually this means he likes her. Oftentimes, he senses that she only likes him as a friend right now, and he's using the friendship to try to win her over one day. Number two, if he remembers little details about you and then uses them to bless you or tease you, this often means he secretly likes you. When a man likes a woman, he pays very close attention to her. For example, if you read Song of Solomon 4, when the man describes the woman he loves, it's clear he's studied her closely and has remembered a lot of facts about her. When a man has feelings for a woman and she says she likes something, he makes a mental note of that and won't forget it. For example, if you say to your male coworker, I love Dove chocolate, if he likes you, he will remember this and he might casually give you that type of chocolate next time he stops by your desk. If you are with a group of friends and you see a spider and say, gross, I hate spiders. If he likes you, he might play a practical joke on you with a fake spider to tease you in a friendly way. It's especially clear that he likes a woman when he remembers anything really specific about her that most people would not remember and then uses that information to connect with her in a deeper way. And number three, if you and a Christian guy have a great connection, but you are in an environment where a breakup would make things extremely awkward, he is probably hiding his feelings for you. Sometimes a woman will say, me and this guy have a great connection and I think he likes me, but for some reason he won't pursue me. Oftentimes he does like you, but the reason he is not pursuing you is that he knows it could get awkward if things did not work out because you two are a part of a common community. For example, if you are both a part of a close friend group, if you both are involved at the same church, or if you both work at the same place, he might be a little slower before making a move because of the ramifications of introducing romance into the equation. Since he is the pursuer, he will be the one who feels the most pressure about deciding when to risk the friendship. He will have to weigh through the pros and cons of risking future problems if she rejects his pursuit or if the relationship doesn't work out after they give it a try. Eventually, a man will take a risk on romance, but he will first want to make sure this is a wise risk to take. Here's a related video called Three Biblical Ways Your Future Husband Will Identify Himself to You. I'm Mark from ApplyGodsWord.com, and until next time, God bless.